a former Minister of Finance, Drive. Ngozi Okonjo-Iwila, has made some revelations in her new book titled, Fighting Corruption is Dangerous, the story behind the headlines. She recounted that former president, Good Luck Jonathan indeed showed concern and made spirited effort to rescue the schoolgirls abducted in Chibok in 2014. In parts published by this day, Okonjo Iwila said Jonathan called her on the phone while she was in Mexico City on April 15, 2014, a day after the schoolgirls' abduction, confirming to her that Boko Haram had indeed kidnapped a large number of girls. When the president came to the phone, he sounded tired. It was easy to sense the fatigue in his voice. I told him what I had heard in Mexico and the reaction of the participants. The president confirmed that the kidnapping had happened, that they were still trying to determine with the state authorities exactly what happened, and that the total number of girls taken was still not known. She quoted Jonathan as saying, CME, we must get those girls out alive. I don't care what they say about me, but I don't want those girls dead. We must get them back alive. The former World Bank managing director also revealed a graphic encounter between her and an aggressive Southwest governor, still serving, who pounced on her at a National Executive Council meeting. She related in the book that it took the intervention of the then-Vice President, Namadi Sambo, who rescued her from the hands of the Southwestern governor, who was in the major opposition party at that time, now the ruling party, who pounced on her and was verbally aggressive at the NEC meeting. The finance expert also narrated the challenges and frustration she experienced over the resistance by some governors and other powerful elements to saving for the rainy day even as her efforts were fully supported by both ex-presidents Olushigan Abusanjo and Jonathan. She stated that, it was only by sheer force of the will that Abusanjo was able to protect the savings in the excess crude account from the governors. Okonjo Iwila noted in the book that she was reluctant to attend the NEC meetings because of the animosity towards her by some governors who saw her as the obstacle to sharing funds in the ECA and saddle their states with ill-advised loans which would have been difficult to pay. Okonjo Iwila also disclosed how a certain native Jonathan almost bounced her and the then newly elected International Monetary Fund Managing Director, Christine Lagarde, who was on an official visit to Nigeria, out of the presidential villa. She accused the aide of making an attempt, which she frustrated, to use his influence to further an agenda that was inimical to the country's interest. It was for that reason the aide tried to bounce her and Lagarde out of the villa. Dot 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 dot